Today we're diving into the world of business development companies. If you are new to investing, business development companies, or BDCs, are unique investment vehicles that primarily focus on providing funding and support to small and mid-sized companies. Think of them as financial partners for businesses that are looking to grow and expand. BDCs play a vital role in the economy by providing capital to these companies, which, in turn, helps create jobs and stimulate economic growth. They are structured as closed-end investment companies and are publicly traded on stock exchanges, making them accessible to individual investors like you and me. They're required by law to distribute at least 90% of their taxable income to shareholders in the form of dividends, which is one of the reasons they can be attractive to income-focused investors. Now that you have a basic understanding of what BDCs are and what they do, let's dive into a comparison of two specific BDCs. Blue Owl Capital Corp, ticker symbol, OBDC, and Oak Tree Specialty Lending, ticker symbol OCSL. We'll explore their investment strategies, balance sheets, dividend profiles, and valuations to help you decide which one might be the better fit for your investment goals. So stick around for the full picture. Taking a look at the investment portfolio of both stocks, OBDC is a BDC that takes a conservative approach to its investments. It places a significant emphasis on senior secured loans, with 83.2% of its portfolio allocated to first and second lien loans. While not the most conservative BDC out there, it's certainly among the more defensive options. If you're looking for a BDC that leans towards safety while still offering potential rewards, OBDC is one to consider. OCSL, on the other hand, has a solid reputation in the BDC world, thanks to its association with Oak Tree Capital Management, a renowned investment management firm. OCSL's investment portfolio reflects a robust and defensively positioned strategy. A substantial 89% of its assets are allocated to first and second lien senior secured loans, demonstrating a strong emphasis on risk mitigation. Moreover, OCSL takes a more neutral approach to the direction of interest rates, which can be a crucial factor in certain economic scenarios. Now, let's talk balance sheets. Looking at the balance sheet of a company is important because it provides a snapshot of the company's financial health and overall stability. The balance sheet shows the company's assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity at a specific point in time. OBDC maintains a prudent leverage ratio, standing in line with industry standards. This balanced approach ensures stability and flexibility in dealing with economic fluctuations. Moreover, OBDC boasts an investment-grade credit rating, which enhances its ability to access debt on reasonable terms. Overall, OBDC's balance sheet is well positioned to weather different economic conditions, making it a reliable choice for risk-conscious investors. Similar to OBDC, OCSL maintains a prudent leverage ratio. This conservative approach provides OCSL with the necessary flexibility to navigate economic uncertainties while still delivering a strong return on equity. Furthermore, OCSL also enjoys an investment-grade credit rating, offering favorable access to debt financing. OCSL's balanced balance sheet aligns with its defensive investment strategy, making it a stable choice for investors looking to minimize risks. Moving on to my favorite thing about BDCs, the dividends. OBDC adopts a conservative stance when it comes to its dividend profile. It covers its total dividend payout by a conservative ratio of 1.2x. Additionally, when factoring in special dividends, OBDC's regular dividend is even more securely covered at a ratio of 1.45x. This approach ensures that OBDC's regular dividend payout remains sustainable, providing investors with confidence in its income stream. OCSL has shown impressive dividend growth, especially since Oak Tree assumed management responsibility. Although future dividend growth might slow down as interest rates reach their peak, OCSL's current dividend is sufficiently covered with a ratio of 1.13x. This, combined with its strong balance sheet and investment portfolio, contributes to a reliable dividend payout, even in the event of a mild recession. This brings us to the valuation. OBDC presents an attractive valuation, trading at a notable 12.39% discount to its net asset value, NAV. This discount makes OBDC an appealing option for investors looking for a cost-effective entry point into the BDC market. Despite the lower valuation, OBDC maintains a sustainable regular dividend and is positioned as a budget-friendly choice. While OCSL is not as deeply discounted as OBDC, it still offers an attractive valuation, trading at a 3.63% discount to NAV. The higher dividend yield of OCSL compensates for the slightly higher valuation. When considering price-to-net investment income ratios, OCSLs has a competitive ratio of 7.7x. 
investors seeking a balance between valuation and dividend yield may find OCSL to be an appealing option. Both Blue Owl Capital Corp and Oak Tree Specialty Lending are high-quality BDCs that can handle economic downturns. OCSL benefits from the Oak Tree reputation and has a slightly more conservative portfolio. It offers a higher regular quarterly dividend, although it's also more expensive. On the other hand, OBDC is cheaper and has a well-covered regular dividend. So which one is the better buy? It depends on your investment goals. If you're looking for maximum yield and are willing to pay a bit more, OCSL might be your choice. But if you want to maximize total returns relative to risk, OBDC could be the better pick. Remember, investing always comes with risks, so make sure to do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. That's it for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.